So what's the what's the weirdest thing that ever happened to you during a performance? Oh wait, um, I think the weirdest thing that happened to me was best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation what up milwaukee yo what's going down it's your boy sir quinn from best of the best entertainment where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local global of becoming an established artist today we got a special guest it's very very special guest in the building go ahead introduce yourself y'all know me y'all know what time it is it's tika g the comedian yeah, um, yeah let the shenanigans <laughs> begin you hear me thanks for coming to the show though no, thanks for coming to the show you look you looking very lovely today might i add yeah you got that shit yeah <laughs> So uh, I, I had to bring you here because I had to pick uh, pick your brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been seeing you in the field, knee deep in the field, putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, uh, I kind of want to pick your brain and try to figure out, like, you know what I'm saying, where it all start, and then you know where are you taking this. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, how did you start? How did you get your start? What made you start? Wow. Um. Let's let's go to the beginning then. Um. Yeah. As a kid, I always was a class clown. Mm. I just always had to have something to say and always had to make the, the, the class have a good time. You yeah, know? yeah. So I feed off of energy, you know. So um, growing up, I just always didn't have a problem expressing myself. You know, mm -hmm. I wasn't a really like closed in kid. My mom was really open up about expressing ourselves and having an opinion. Right, she right. She wanted us to, you know, be standing 10 toes down on something that you felt about. Mm. So um, with that being said, um, I don't know. I just never really had an issue being open with people. Right, right. You know, that's just my thing. And then, like, what made you, like, what made you hop on, hop on that stage? You feel me? Like, oh this, my God. Ooh, jeez. Um, that I, take a lot. It, that, it takes a lot. Everybody said it takes a lot of courage. Yeah. Um, But I feel like it honestly just takes um good energy. Like, you have to just be willing to open yourself up to everybody. Mm. It's not just for you. It's for everybody. So, right. like, being able to tell people my lifestyle and tell them through comedy it's, it's really therapeutic for me right like you know i don't have to hold nothing back i could tell y'all everything like, right right y'all might be strangers but y'all family today yeah yeah <laughs> and you, you saying it's so easy right now though but like what, what was that first gig like do you remember that and I, I started back in 2018 my first open mic was at a place called uh tease everglades on Fond du Lac. Mm. So it was a little comedy spot. We all used to be there. Me with some of the heavy hitters like uh, Black, the comedian, uh, Miss Magic, uh, Christina Rosado. It was a lot of us there. So we was just getting our feet into just right. like really expressing ourselves. What year was age. this? This is 2018. Ooh. Yeah. Jeez, jeez, yeah. jeez. But what, what was it like? What was the prep? What was the preparation it, like? Like There was no your, prep. There was no <laughs> prep? You, what? We had to go up and just do it we and freestyle it. freestyle it Work freestyle it figure it out wow yeah, wow it wow no and it was, you get there and you do what you do that's right what it, that's what it was and that's what i love about stand-up because now people do a lot of social media comedy mm -hmm. and you can edit that right right you right know, you in stand up yeah it's all wrong that's right there you can't change what you just said it's yeah left on the stage so like i love the art yeah i love the art and i respect the art you was nervous was you nervous was I nervous? I was too lit to be nervous. You was what? I was, <laughs> listen, I was so tipsy my first time. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I was so lit off some tequila sunrises. And, and the crazy the crazy part is that was my first comedy name. What? My first comedy name was Tequila Sunrise because that was my favorite drink I used to always have at the club. That's crazy. So Tequila, me, Tika, I can see. Yeah. So they literally gave me that name at first. Yeah. And then I decided to switch it over because it didn't really resonate with who I was as a person. And I want people to really feel comfortable talking mm -hmm. to me, being around me. So I want y'all to know me by first name. Baby. Right, so, right. Um, but yeah, that was my drink of choice. Yeah. And I used to Ain't that there. tequila, what? Yes, yeah. tequila, baby. Yeah. I was up there expressing my life and how I felt about things when it came to to work, uh, social life, relationships, kids. Yeah. And a lot of people related with it. Mm. Like they really 
felt comfortable like hey i i deal with that too like yeah. you know so that's funny that you say that because it's the truth right so people find a lot of uh, find a lot of truth in what i say but it's still funny at the same time right maybe to express it that way size man that's whew, that's that's <laughs> nervous man in case y'all just now kicking it with us man we kicking it with comedian tika y'all stay tapped in right after this commercial break yeah yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A and R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T H E, capital A, lowercase A N D, uppercase R, no spaces. Please go check that out. Again, it's capital T, lowercase H E uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah of the best entertainment Shh. shut up and hustle Okay, y'all just now kicking it with us, man. We're kicking it with comedian Tika G, man. It's the fam, man. The fellow panel group member, you feel yes, me? So, yes. uh, so how, how long was that, um, did that run go for, you know? The, uh, um, so obviously there's open mics everywhere, but, uh, with, mm. um, the open mic there ran for about two years before COVID and stuff. Happened. Oh, okay, right, right. So then the big shutdown happened, and everybody had to go back into their homes. Yeah, and hide and... But that gave us nothing but time to come up with material. So if you was during the COVID epidemic situation, baby, mm -hmm. we wrote so many jokes off of that. <laughs> listen, the way people live in these houses. Wow. Listen, when you stuck in a house with a person that you usually don't be in stuff, ah. it makes you feel like a whole thing about yourself. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real. Like, listen, we need to be out the house. This ain't working out. I already feel like we're gonna break up after COVID. Like, I don't know what to do with you, sir. Like, you gotta wait till COVID over to break up. We gotta wait till COVID. Then we can break up because I don't know. We stuck together right now. Like, I don't know what's happening. But yeah. Um, uh, no, seriously, it really gave us a lot of ammunition to like come up with new materials, sit down mm -hmm. and really think how we want to revive ourselves and rebrand ourselves when we do come back out into the world. Right, right. So, um, yeah, it was dope. It was dope coming back to the open mics after COVID and all that stuff happened. It was, it was amazing. Everybody was showing us love. It was happy. To, I was happy to see everybody. Like, dude, wow. I miss my comedy people. Like, yeah. when you get around your circle and you know your tribe, mm -hmm. them the people that you truly like love to see and love to be around. Right. Them, they know. They know what you're feeling. You know know what you deal with especially in the comedy game yeah so name name some of the uh like comedians that's, that's oh, local that you don't rub shoulders man, with it's all, it's all man it's a man i know man because y'all the community um, man let's, like, let's go let's go back let's go back to the ogs all the way up to the newbies yes so, lord so ogs let's go back to uh miss cuts oh shout out miss cuts shout out miss cuts betty g mm. uh we got greg we got um oh so many people miss magic rest in peace um, mm. Black is still on the scene. We got Bodini. Everybody knows Bodini. Yeah, yeah. Open mic every Tuesday night. Shout out Bodini. Yeah. Um, we got now we got the newbies. Right. This is dope people as well. Comedian Tess, you know he hitting the yeah yeah he hitting hard, hard. yeah yeah. Uh, Dre Love who has a uh, podcast as well. Y'all yep. check him out. Um, we got. Oh man, it's so many of us. Yeah, man, man it's a community, <laughs> man. It's a like list. I swear, promise that he dabbling now it's too. It's such a long list of us, man, and it's just like I thank every single last one of them because every single one of them gave me a piece of how to really articulate with comedy. Mm. Everybody has a different presentation. Everybody has a different way of style of comedy. Mm. Some people are storytellers. Right. Some people are punchliners. Right. So you just have to figure out what's your niche with comedy. It's yeah. Like, Putting the puzzle pieces. Together. So what's the what's the weirdest thing that ever happened to you during a performance? Ooh, wait. Um, I think the weirdest thing that happened to me was uh when me and Bodini did a comedy uh contest together and he uh talked stuff about all the comedians. Whoa. Including me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> and he called us the ball head show. <laughs> wait a minute. So, so he's like, yeah, this is a ball head ass show. Everybody on this line of ball headed. And he's like, I'm gonna talk about everybody. And then he was like, you too, Tika. He was like, you and all this hair. So I snatched off my wig and threw it at him. I said, yep, I've been waiting to take that off anyways. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I think that was like the funniest. You what? The funniest moments, yeah. That's, that's fucking we hilarious. And everybody thought it was hilarious, and I was just like, "Look, if we're gonna make comedy, we're gonna do comedy." No, yeah, yeah, it's so raw. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I don't care what it is. I, it's hard to embarrass me because I'm not embarrassed about my lifestyle. Yeah, you know, so it's like I'm gonna do what's fun. It's gonna be. I fun. love that fun. Tika. Shit, <laughs> God damn, we kicking it with Tika G, that but you feel me? So, um, so do you have a, like a favorite venue to uh? To perform in like like what's your what's your favorite man and why it's a it's a few of them um i think my favorite venue honestly is probably bodini's open mic only because um it's local mm. it's a really nice spot it's taco tuesdays every night mm. it's drink specials every night and uh it's a really open loving crowd like they really show respect for comedy and they really do like you know, give you the attention that you need to really practice your stuff. Right. You know, sometimes even though it's an open mic and it's for practice, but it's best to really like see what works, see what don't work. Right. See what people feeling and what they don't like. And where where is that? Where is that? Uh, it is forty oh one North Avenue, I believe, or it's, I think it's forty first. Oh, you talking there. about? Oh yeah, it's like yeah. across the street from like from that bridge or something yep. like that. Over like, yep, yep, that's exactly where it's at. What? Yep, and it's there. beautiful inside of there. Every Tuesday. What? Every Tuesday. Oh yeah, I'm at the slide. Definitely Talk at the your slide. Shit Tuesdays every night, North Avenue, your right. premier bar. Be there or be square. Uh, I got, so I got a slide, man. You got to. You gonna, you gonna love it. What? You gonna love it. You so I heard, I heard you saying like you got to know how to balance. Like, so how do you balance like making people laugh? Like addressing sit with addressing like serious topics and you know what i'm saying and you making people laugh like so how do you um, like where do you find that balance it's it's, it's it get rough sometimes yeah it's rough because not only am i dealing with my own personal life and still having to come back and make other people laugh but um i do tend to incorporate a lot of the things that i go through into my comedy so that's what mm. makes it easier for me mm. so it makes me feel like you know if i'm going through this let me just put it out there yeah and, and see if anybody else going through the same Whoa. thing you know and yeah funny, that's... hey that works yeah yeah and then i hey i just put it out i there just so put it know. out there <laughs> wow wow yeah that that's that that is tough that's tough so uh about Tika, like, do, do you got you got any like hidden other hobbies that that that, oh that, that, that we that we would, that we would know that we would be surprised uh, to know about you? Yeah, I got a couple hidden hobbies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's talk. I <laughs> mean, I'm scared. I mean, listen. Sometimes you know you got to jiggle booby or two to see if you still got it. You know what I'm saying? But no, in all seriousness, y'all, uh, I do I do love karaoke. Mm. That's one of my favorite go tos. I do like to sing sometimes. Um, I am cold in the kitchen. Your girl can, what? <laughs> your girl can whip it. Um, no, nah, but <laughs> you, you cooking? I be cooking, bro. You be cooking? Listen, listen this little. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you know. But no. Nah, uh, what is that? What is that for the people that <laughs> for the people on I heart? People that don't know, you see that wiggle? Yeah. Look at that. The wiggle on the arm. You see that wing? Yeah. That girl can cook some wings. You see that? <laughs> Explain it for the people that's listening to it on the radio. What are you? What are you doing right now? Let's... I'm, I'm shaking the underarm fat. You know that little underarm wing? You see that little underarm flap right there? She can do that. You got a winner right there. You better keep her, boy. You're gonna be fed. You're gonna be you're gonna be good fed. Real good fed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we kicking it with the hilarious Tika, the comedian G. Y'all stay tapped in. We got the word segment with her right after this commercial break. Let's go. Yeah. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client and we're we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Introduce it, the dynamic crew behind our Electrify podcast panel. Get ready to meet the voices. First up, we got Kenda, the voice coding. Next, producer Tone Deaf High. And say hello to Jessica, the minister. Here comes Savannah, she's such a lady. Check out comedian Tika G. Uthia, the model is in the house. Don't forget Kenyatta. Judge is here. 
Sir Quinn, Mr. Shut Up and Hustle. And last but definitely not least, Nicole. Introducing the dynamic crew behind our Electrifying Podcast panel. Yo, in case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with... Tika G. You hear me? <laughs> and we got the word segment, man. So, on this segment, we spin the wheel. You spin the wheel three okay. times, and you tell me what you think about the word every time you land on that word. Got you. Ready for that got first spin? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We, we got... Love. Ooh, well, I had to land on that. I don't know, man. Christ. Come on, Lord. If you listen, if you said I was just gonna be single the rest of my life, that's all you had to say. Um, love. Wow. Um, obviously everybody know love is a four letter word, but also hate is too. Whoa. Kind of like you, you gotta take the love and the hate when. With well, I, well, with what I do in comedy, mm-hmm. like I don't have a lot of fans and like. It's not just based off of my comedy. It's based off of who I am as a person. Some people just don't vibe with my vibe. Mm. And I get that. That's fine. Wow. But, you know, at the same time, I still love the people who love me. Yeah. And yeah. I respect that. That's, That's cool. powerful. That's powerful. That's so powerful. All right. Let's get that second spin. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go. Come on. Give me something good. <laughs> love was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Hustle. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you prayed for something I good like too. Yeah. I like that one. So obviously we here with Mr. Shut Up and Hustle. So you know, you, yeah. you, you got to keep your grind on. So yeah. Um, I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I just feel like uh, being being knee deep in the pain, knee, knee deep in the mud, getting it out the mud, making sure that I'm really like sticking to my goals with this comedy thing. Um. I'm just all for it. I'm all in. I love mm. what I do in this. I have a passion for it. Yeah. So I'm gonna hustle yeah. as much as I possibly can to get to where I gotta go with this. So Whew. I'm I'm all in for it. You all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. So that's why people keep seeing my face. You gonna keep seeing my face. Ah, talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. Y'all remember this face, man. Y'all gonna see this face. <laughs> Growing fast. Yes. At a rapid rate. Yes. It's crazy. Yes. All right, let's get that third spin, man. Last one, last one, last one. What is it going to be? It's going to land on love again. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let's piggyback off of it. Longevity. Woo. Yeah. People think that longevity is hard to acquire. Mm. Only because of their mindsets. Mm. Um, mm. If you don't believe in longevity, you're not going to have it. So, like, you have to have true belief and faith in yourself to really accomplish your goals. Mm. You got to be ready. You got to be prepared. You got to be willing to take those sacrifices. You got to be willing to get them losses mm. and, and keep the keep the road. Keep yeah. the path because a lot of people usually give up. So, it's like to keep the longevity, to keep your, your heart and your passion, stick with it. Ooh, Don't let it go. Yeah. Don't let it go because people won't try to tell you not to, to pursue what you love. Ooh. But keep it. Keep your longevity. Keep it going. And that's for all of y'all. Everybody out there. Artists, musicians, comedians. What you do is what you do. You do it best. So keep going. Woo! Yeah. Word segment with Tika G, damn it. You that's feel me? That's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You was sucking at my heart strings with those, with those, uh, with those replies. Because, like, you barking. Listen. So, um, if you wasn't a comedian, yeah. what do you think you would be doing? Wow. If I wasn't a comedian, what would I be doing? Yeah. Only fans. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it 100. Um, see, they making a lot of money right now, so I think <laughs> that would be my go-to. You didn't even I hesitate think. before you said I that. I did not. I, I'm just gonna keep it 100. I will just be reading the Bible with an apron on, naked, <laughs> just to just just to get y'all tuned in to what what we got going on. on the <laughs> a Bible I, naked just, in an apron. I'm just, I'm just saying, we have got to gotta have a teacher grabber. Got to have a teacher that, grabber. That's a lot of attention. That's, that's, a, that's a you know got something going on. She's like, hold on, wait, she reads the Bible, but naked in the apron. What's happening in this video? What? Like, you know. But no, nah, for real though, y'all. Um, I think that uh, I would, I think I would consider motivational speaking. 
I can see that. I, I just really want to push back into my community for the black little girls who didn't have uh, that person to look up to for that motivation mm. and just really pursue themselves and their dreams. That's deep. Um, so I think that's what I would probably be doing um, just to give back to the community and really like put my best foot forward for little girls that need somebody like that. Mm, I can see that. Yeah. But yeah. I can hear that. I told you the, that voice, <laughs> man. Listen. So uh, like, what, what would your dream comedian to perform alongside be? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, mm. Well, obviously, one of the best mm. of the best would be Bernie Mac. Whoa. I love him. I have so much high respect for him because I watch him still to this day consistently. Um, but I think that if he, if I had to pick someone that's current right now, um, who would I want? Who would I want? Ooh, so you named cool. a king too. I know. That's what I'm saying. He's so amazing. Wow. Um, who would I want to perform alongside? I got to give it to my girl some more. Whoa. Some more. Um, she is unfiltered, beautiful, talented, and not only that, she's been in this game over yeah. like time, like over years. So, like, I think just uh, performing alongside her would give me the up, like, Ooh, to really learn yeah. how to really, you know, go hard with this. So, shout out to my girls. Yeah, who shout you. out to that's, that's. She, she just did a show in Milwaukee. For Mother's Day, so that was a dope show. Was that an improv? No, that was um at the uh Panther Arena. For real? Downtown, Mother's Day. Went down, went crazy. It was her, uh Lavelle Crawford, Bill Bellamy. The show was fire. Yeah. The show was fire. So I, I would definitely love to perform alongside her because she's one of the OGs too. She so it's fire. like it's like the uh it's like the comedy field. Like you just said, like, do you go to like all these comedy shows just to, you know what I'm saying? Cause, to support, cause like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes I just I go just because, like, you know, not just to support, but to learn. Right. Like it's so much easier to actually see. Mm -hmm. what you are trying to accomplish right so Oof. the fact that you can watch i was gonna say like basketball like us hoopers like we you gotta go watch you gotta go watch you gotta watch to learn like yeah. okay, how you do his defense how yep. you do that office yeah like that cross yeah yeah so you get it so that way you can like put it in your mind of how you want to operate and how you want to do things and how you want to take it right so like being able to see them do it the best like mm -hmm. the best do it yeah man it's awesome it's yeah so amazing. what's your what's your go-to youtube comedian that you that's Ooh, what's on your list oh all in your head comedian? yeah we in your google search let's go let's go to google search <laughs> who is your go-to ali sadiq dude is ali sadiq dude is man has found mm -hmm. the 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 mixture the perfect yeah, recipe yeah, for comedy yeah not only is this man telling y'all stories about his life yeah but he is doing it in such a funny way that you can't help but to yeah. laugh at it and it's and all it's, life it's, it's all real experiences all real stories it's all real things he's dealt with and yeah. dealt, did with his life but at the same time it's hilarious it's hilarious it's so funny and he just dropped one too didn't he yeah he just, just dropped yeah, the domino effect the domino effect too. yeah and he got a few specials on youtube that i just can't i can't help every time i see his name pop up i gotta watch it. yeah i got yeah. to what you think about nate jackson Nate Jackson's dope too. Yeah. Nate that, Jackson's dope too. Yeah. Like it's a lot of heavy hitters in the comedy game right now. And yeah, I, yeah. I have to keep Including up. Yourself. Yeah, Shit, I have to like, keep up. Like yeah. I gotta pay attention to see, like, man, it's it, the comedy game is getting really, really hard yeah. for this right now. Yeah, and so we love like, to laugh, man. I sure leaded this laugh today, yeah, man. Listen. I gotta so what's what's the, the the craziest thing that happened to you while you was on stage? You said at the show, man. but like what's the craziest, funniest thing I that happened to you? The first time I bombed. Everybody remember that first. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. I wanted yeah. to. I wanted you to bring it up first because I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it was real. It was rough. It was rough. It yeah. Was, it was crickets. You hear me? It was, oh. it was so quiet and awkward. Like, oh, oh. I'm my man. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Damn. But um, I just took it as a learning lesson, honestly, mm. because yeah. I had to figure out like, who am I as a comic? Yeah. What do they want to really know about me? Yeah, you know, and people want to get to know you personally before they can laugh at you. How, how do you maneuver through that? Like while you're on, while it's happening, like while why it's that awkward moment. How do you maneuver through that? Like, do you just be like, okay, I'm gonna just do my set and get the hell out of here? You have to. You yeah, gotta, you gotta finish the. You set. gotta see it through. You gotta see it through. <laughs> you can't just be like, man, what y'all ain't laughing, man? Fuck this. <laughs> you can't do that. No, you 
you can't just drop the mic and walk off. You gotta, you have to finish the set. See, I could be no comedian. I'd be like, man, you know what? Listen, you have to finish the set as bad as it is. Yeah. You have to finish the set. And then once you finish the set, if you bomb, okay, cool, fine, you bomb. Yeah. But that just gives you ammunition and, and, and that notion like, okay, that yeah, didn't work. It so didn't work. Go back to the drawing board and figure out mm. what you can do to fix this. Do you remember that set? Do you remember what you man, said? I remember that set like uh, yesterday, man. Yeah. Oh my God, well, it was terrible. I was talking, I was in a crowd. Well, obviously this is the first thing you have to do as a comedian. Yeah. You have to assess your crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's older people, older jokes. Yeah. If it's younger people, younger jokes. Yeah. If it's black, white, Mexican, mm -hmm. racial jokes. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It, 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 it works like a really yeah. weird, like, yeah, it's the code. Like it's, it's a it's, it's, yeah, it's like a weird combination. So you have to figure out what works for your crowd. Mm. Um, but that crowd was an older crowd, and I was just talking about young girl stuff, and mm. they was just not feeling it. They was just like, "What are you talking about? We don't have no relation to what you're talking about." Wow. So it was like I'm telling these jokes, and I'm trying to you know connect, but that's not the crowd. It wasn't the crowd. It wasn't. It didn't fit that crowd. Wow. So that's it. It did not fit that crowd. So now that I have enough jokes, yeah, it's to a maneuver now. I could switch out. You got you got it all in your bag, your bag yeah, full. Yeah, my memory is crazy right now. Like what? Of them, I have over, I have over four books of jokes that I've written. Uh, <laughs> within the last stop it. Within the last two years, I've have I have four books. That I've written my You book. just got them in your bag. Like what we call basketball language. We got the crossover the in our bag. You, you got the bag. You got the what? You gotta have the play. So that way, whatever jokes fit that crowd, I can line them up in my head and figure out how to tell them That's to that crowd to fit that dope. crowd. Yeah. We kicking it with Tika. <laughs> Gee, damn it. I needed this conversation, man. Cause like you so dope, man. And I've been seeing you grinding and all kind of shit, man. And we talked like a minute ago, man. Yeah, like we yeah. this is well overdue, best of the best yes. people. So um let's talk about this show that you got coming up. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that. Cause we had we had to go back. Let's okay. bring it forward. Let's bring it forward. Let's, now. let's, let's go to what yeah. we got coming up now. Mm -hmm. Um, I do have a summer show coming up, uh, a backyard comedy show. That's uh, crazy. Hosted by none other, the old school Thaddeus, the a winner of the ninety eight point three comedy uh, contest. He was the winner of that contest. Wait, let's talk about that contest before you move forward. Like, let's yeah. before you, uh, that contest that you were in, right? Yes, I was okay. one of the finalists. And y'all linked up, and y'all we linked up. And I love it. So. Y'all networking too. Yeah, Come on yeah. so with it. Gonna be, it's gonna be uh, Thaddeus Old School hosting. We got uh, JP Hinton, who is also a dope ass comic. Mm -hmm. um, we got Betty. Goner. She's yeah. gonna be there. We got Ruth, Miss Cutting Up. Y'all know she's gonna up. be there. And I've seen myself. Y'all yeah. know I'm gonna tear the stage up for y'all. Cause I love y'all so much. Um, but it's gonna be a dope show. So, Where is yeah, it going to be? Now, so y'all can hit me up or hit up Thaddeus. Anybody that knows Thaddeus, y'all can definitely hit him up for tickets as well. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kill it. We're gonna Where is it gonna be it. at? Um it's at I wanna say, I wanna double check out. Ooh, I wanna say it's at 31, 401 West Fairmount. But I have to double check. Yeah, we'll post a flyer. We'll post a flyer. Yeah, we'll post, we'll post a flyer. flyer. But I yeah. believe that's where it's at. But he gonna have the flyer. I'm gonna have the flyer everywhere. It's yeah, y'all. Yeah. Y'all gonna see it. Yeah. Um, but it's gonna go now. Yeah. Gonna have to Tell them where to find you at, man. Tell them what's next too, oh, man. Cause it's like, man. Uh, obviously, you know, we got our 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 thing. The panel. Yeah, yes, Lord. We got that coming up June 13th. So y'all tune in for that. Yes, Lord. That's gonna be a dope conversation. If y'all ain't tuned in yet, y'all better tune what? in. What? Um, then let's see. Uh, obviously I'm still going to still do, do TikTok. I'm still going to do Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, y'all can find me on Facebook, mm -hmm. Tika G the Comedian. Um, if I have any other stuff coming up, I'll have it posted. You you can find me. It's, I'm not hard to find. No, no, no she me. really ain't. I'm really not that hard <laughs> you to talking about me. she an introvert. I'm I, like, bro, what? Yeah, I mean, listen, everybody what? know I really be just ducked off. But when I have to come out, I'll come out. Right. But like, I don't really be out here like. Yeah. Streets, you know? yeah, yeah. First of all, no. streets don't want me. Right? <laughs> I've been single <laughs> a little too long now, so I'm. What the streets got to do with somebody I, want you? You want somebody listen, from the streets, or what you want? Listen, like, I mean, like, I feel like I've been single this long, like the streets don't want me. I'm for stand house. The streets do not want me. <laughs> oh my god so uh with that panel too though like you you're gonna be the uh one of the what do we call it, the the four people that's oh, on the on the no, couch this time we're switching it out this time we switching we got, it up. yep we got ruthia the model that's yep. gonna be on the lineup judge uh kenda 
Um, you're not gonna be on this one. I'm not gonna be on this. No, uh, no. Nah. Yo, you gonna be an audience? Yeah, oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, support, yeah. You know? my bad, cause I, th I thought you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm tripping, I'm tripping. But uh, additionally, man, like this is gonna be my uh, co-host on the radio too. So I'm uh, manifesting that, man. We just did some voiceover work. I, I, yeah. I just, I love her voice. I love her energy. Everything. You just a full package, man. I wish you nothing but longevity in your career. Thank you you Thank going you. crazy and uh get your last minute shout outs man so oh, i know you man yeah, i so know many shout outs, so many people man. Yes, just, to, just to my people overall including the panel team mm. um all my local comedians who i love i love y'all to death comedian tez my mentor i love you bro um i i just have no words like i i really appreciate all my fans who support me through this journey all the people mm. that staying in tune with me coming to my shows my events I love y'all to my girl, Latria Monique. I love you, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, to, to my people, y'all. Y'all just keep going and keep striving for what y'all love the most. And that's all I can say to y'all because it's it's so much to, like, really accomplish with what you really have a passion for. Yeah. So let's keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. go. Yeah, you can get it with <laughs> comedian Tika G, damn it. <laughs> A longer way to interview, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, I wish you nothing but prosperity. You, you, you gonna make it. You, it's already up there because, like, bro, the energy is crazy, man. And that. it take a lot to make me laugh, like for real. I'm just being honest, oh, right? You be having me rolling, dog. Uh, all your videos have me rolling, oh, all that shit, it. like so, man. Nothing but prosperity. But additionally, we kicking it with. Comedian Tika G, man, y'all make sure y'all tap in to, uh, to Roku. It's going to be on Roku. Download all our interviews on iHeart, Pandora, all that. The download is necessary. Download, download that shit. Download that shit. <laughs> yeah, sad facts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, it's it's a wrap, man. I enjoy talking to man, you. Man, I love everything yeah, it is, man. Me too. It's overdue. Yeah, facts, facts, <laughs> man. You already know what time it is. Your boy started quitting for Best of the Best TV. You already know. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Yeah. All of my good day still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. I'm a good, we using no rubber. I tell them I serve it. Shut up and hustle. Who that's wrong and you niggas in trouble? The 40 state took ain't no time to tussle. I'm fucking them gone, ain't no time to call. I tell them I serve it. Shut up and hustle.